Thanks, Ido, for having me on The Angiologist. Today I'm going to be talking about endovascular approaches to the common femoral artery. As we uh, all know, the um, common femoral artery has traditionally been treated through surgical means. However, there are some scenarios which arise in which it's appropriate to do endovascular procedures in this territory. Some of those include, uh, for example, patients that have critical limb ischemia. They often have multi-level disease, including the common femoral artery, and in an attempt to salvage limbs or perhaps promote wound healing, it's definitely appropriate to treat this uh, with a, an endovascular approach. Additionally, as a practicing, practicing cardiologist, I know that oftentimes when we access the femoral artery, we can oftentimes have complications. In this setting, it might also be appropriate to do endovascular procedures on the common femoral artery to treat these complications. There are a few important considerations when considering the common femoral artery for an endovascular approach. Uh, first off, the disease located in this area is often very calcific and exophytic. This often necessitates some type of debulking procedure in order to adequately prepare the lesion. So I oftentimes like to use atherectomy uh, to um, debulk the lesion, make it more uh, uh, suitable for angioplasty thereafter. The second consideration relates to stenting. As we all know, the common femoral artery might need to be used for additional procedures, so we would ideally like to avoid stenting in this region. Uh, and it also a stent would perhaps um, eliminate this as a potential surgical option in the future. So I think that an approach that avoids stenting is, is, uh, best, uh, is the best strategy for this territory. Uh, so I think that atherectomy with, followed by angioplasty oftentimes can get a good result. Should you have to do a stent after your angioplasty due to dissection or other vessel disruption, obviously it'd be best to use a self-expanding device as opposed to a balloon expandable given the uh, mobile nature of this region and, and concerns over fracture and or compression. Thank you.